सो अभी शुड वी स्टार्ट विद द इंटरव्यू या ओके अभी कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डबल इक्वल टू एंड ट्रिपल इक्वल टू ऑपरेटर या सो डबल इक्वल टू ओनली चेक कंपेयर द वैल्यू Uh, so I mean to say that if I use this double equal to, so it only uh, matches the value, not the type of that. Here, this one is the uh, integer, or and this, and this one is the string. But if we write console dot log one equal to two, it will print the true means the answer is true. Okay. And if we uh, if we compare with the triple equal to, so it will false because it matches the type of also. means it is an integer and it is a string so it will not give the true answer okay can you please replace it with empty array one with empty array empty array yes and remove that What? one as well remove that one as well this one yes yeah. and write empty array again okay tell me what will be the output here yeah and also uh, copy this and paste on the next line copy this yeah paste yeah with triple equal to yes now tell me what will be the output in both the case and why uh, please don't click there yeah yeah uh, this uh, this one will show uh, the output as a true uh because uh, i i i will tell that it is not uh, taken the type of operator it only matches the value so the empty array is equal to equal to empty array so probably uh, this console will show the true output true as output and the second uh, this one uh, will definitely show uh, first of all this line is an error and it will definitely show a false output uh, because it matches the type but the value in the array is empty so yeah this one is i told to true and this one is false because of what it is false this one yeah the second yeah uh, it may be an array is a object in the javascript so both have different data types you meant to say no no That's both have the here the data type is same so why it is false because of an empty array it may be false both have empty array so what what is the change here yeah this i do okay okay True. okay fine you can run this up both is false what do you think uh, okay you know the difference between primitive and non primitive data types difference yeah primitive Do you like know the here. difference? Wait, I have to think. Wait. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the primitive data types. Uh, we shared the copy, and the non-primitive data type which does not share the copy, like this, such as string bool integer is a primitive data type, as well as objects, and these are non-primitive data types. Arrays and objects are non-primitive data types. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. what's the functionality difference? What's the functionality difference? Yes. How they work instead? Yeah. Probably the primitive data types uh, uh, means it actually create a copy when passed in a function. Maybe like that. Okay. You can uh, comment this up. Abhi. Yeah. 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 Abhi, okay. Can you tell me the difference between every method and some method? Every method and some method. Yes. Every method and some method. Yes. Are you aware of these two inbuilt methods? No, not yet. Okay. Okay, fine. Can you tell me the difference between then and finally method? Yeah. Uh, then uh, when a promises is resolved, then the that uh, dot then will run, and if not resolved, then dot catch will run, and finally will run always. Means if the promise is resolved, not resolved, the finally will run always. Okay. Can you tell me how arrow functions is different from normal functions? Yeah, arrow function is a single line function. 
uh, we can write in a single line and directly return the value of it. Okay, that's the main difference. Yeah. There is no functionality difference. Means oh, functionality difference means functionality how they work inside. No, exactly. There is no difference. Okay. Arrow functions they can be used as constructors if you use new keyword okay new keyword is used for creating constructors right are yeah. you aware of it yes yes so for arrow functions if we uh, use that new keyword then will it be okay with it arrow arrow function with new keyword yeah so we are trying to create if we want to use it as a constructor no we can't use as a constructor because i have never seen a new keyword with the arrow function okay can you write a variable write var a equals to take 5050 50 yes then create a scope curly brace Yes. Right here where x uh, where a equals to five thousand. Okay. After this scope write let b equals to a. After this? Yes. Right let b equals to a. And on the next line again create a scope. Yes, and write let b equals to 50,000 ok and go outside the scope and write console log of b yeah. you can drag the terminal a little down yes tell me what would be the output and why yeah so this is the variable 50 and then a will change to 50 and change to 5000 and then let's do this and then yeah so the output of this is 5000 5000 why? Uh, yeah uh, because uh, a can be used inside the scope also but the b has a functional scope means if this b and this b is different and if we are asking for this b to print out so it is equal to the 5000 where a can be changed inside the scope but the b is not will not change in this scope for this scope okay can you please on the 8th line okay, yeah just create a function instead of scope instead of scope just write function whatever function a b c a yeah okay fine and write just open the curly brace yep similarly uh, on the fourth line just create a function with any name instead of only curly brace yeah change them yes tell me what will be the output here yeah the output will be the same output will be the same yes okay you can run this out What do you think? What has happened here? Yeah, maybe this variable is created in a function. That's why uh, its uh, its value is not changing. So you told me that it will be accessible outside, right? Yes, but not in the case of function. Maybe. So in if if I remove this function, so definitely it will be the five thousand. The output will be the five thousand. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now you can comment or remove this out. Okay. Can you tell me? Suppose there is a array one four five. Okay, elements in yeah. array there is one four five, and we want to add fourth element as eight. How will you do it? Mm -hmm. There are three elements one four five, and we have to add one more element eight at the f for the fourth element. How will you do it? Yeah, array name dot push. Okay. Suppose take the same array one four five. Okay. Yes. 
and we want to remove the element foo from the array okay so what you will use you can use splice wait a minute i have to think for that you can write it on the uh, here yeah sure on the js and then you can think 145 yes and we need to remove four we have to remove the element four so yeah you can use the method uh, uh splice maybe uh, the correct one for this can you please uh, show me the demo what can you please show me the example like how will you use the splice method yeah sure uh use the array give, uh, give the array name right const abc equals to yeah sure abc dot splice and we need to remove the 4 one. yeah we have to remove the element 4 static index 1 yeah okay Can you add one more, like you have removed the four element, okay? You have to remove the four element and in place of that you have to replace the element four with six. That means I have to replace... Replace it indirectly, yes. Directly uh, you can replace it. Instead of four, you have to replace it with six. How will you do it? means the output of uh, output of this uh, is 165 uh, 165 yep the design yeah design don't okay fine fine yep you can comment or remove this out okay okay write console logo Two minus string of yep. Tell me what will be the output and why. It will show an error. Why? Because uh, integer is subtracted from a string. Integer is subtracted from a string. Okay. Yes. Okay. And if you do plus then? Then that twenty two is the response. Twenty two. Uh, that will be a number or a string. A string. Okay, and here it will be error. Yeah, probably it will be error. Okay, you can go ahead and run this out. Okay, uh, just before... Okay, you have run this. Okay. So you can see... Zero. Strings behave differently with plus and minus. Again zero. Okay, so if any one of them is a string. If any one of them. Then it will... Both will be taken as a number and will be subtracted because there is a minus sign the calculation will be done mathematically okay can you please convert the 2 as a b any one of them to uh, yeah a b yes now tell me what will the output here Maybe uh, this job is converted into integer through its ASCII value. ASCII value. So what will be the ASCII value here? Yeah, this uh, uh, this ASCII value is maybe the sixty five four a ninety eight. Uh, uh, then C D. Okay, fine. Yeah. You can run this out. See, Abhi will get try to get converted into number, but it won't be as it is a proper string. So it won't be getting converted into ASCII value, and therefore Abhi is not able to convert it into number. Then that's why it is showing an end. Okay, fine. You can comment this out. Yeah. <sighs>
ओके राइट एन एरे राइट एरे एस टू कॉमा टू कॉमा वन कॉमा फाइव सिक्स कॉमा फाइव कॉमा सिक्स कॉमा एट ओके फाइव सिक्स एट ओके राइट टेन कॉमा वन कॉमा सेवन कॉमा एट that's it and the resultant should be 1 2 and 8 because it is appearing multiple more than once okay yeah you can write a function yeah abhi uh, see whatever you want to do please uh, do it on the screen abhi i have to use and copy for that yeah you yeah. can go ahead and you can do it on We can iterate through loop, and then will you be able to do it? Yeah, I'm thinking about the syntax. I know the logic for that, but yeah, the syntax is not. Uh, so may I use the syntax for that? Yeah, you can go ahead. I can Google the syntax. No 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 <laughs> no <laughs> no you can't google anything abhi okay yeah i know the logic of it means the logic is very easy but the syntax so you don't know for loop or... yeah i uh, habitual in c++ for this type of question so even uh, how it is different in javascript for loop for For each, like this, the syntax is this. For loop Wait. is different. Syntax is different here. Yeah, yeah, syntax is different in that. Are you sure? You use int here. <laughs> That's why I have practice in. C plus plus for this type of code. So you don't know for variables what use? What? For variables, what keyword should we use? Let var or const. Yeah, yeah. You can use instead of size, you can use length. Length. Yeah, we have to make an in C++ there is an unordered map where we can store the count of each number. Hmm. How will you do? We can create an two D array probably. Yeah, I am not able to. Okay, fine. You can remove this out. Yeah, the syntax. I, uh, Okay, अभी 